This video is a follow-up on the um, liquid variac concept that I have come up with the other day. Um, I went on ahead and built a working model because I finally got around to building a good power supply that runs off AC. Um, I'm going to talk about that first for a minute. I rewound the transformer. I was running at 3.3 volts because I read in a chemistry book that 2.4 volts is the voltage that electrolysis starts at. Well, I found out that using voltage that low doesn't work that well. It just doesn't push the current. So now I'm up to 7.2 volts and something really good kind of happened as a result of that. I seem to be producing more gas, but yet with less current even. So it's kind of a double whammy there. Um, not only am I getting more gas at a particular amperage, but the wattage is lower now because my volts are lower. 55 amps wasn't the same as when I was doing cutting and soldering with 55 amps before it was at 12 volts. Now 50 amps is producing a way bigger flame than before, but yet the voltage is lower, meaning the wattage is significantly lower. Come to find out, I am at about 264 watts difference with this lower voltage. Um, I'm having some trouble with my diode array getting really hot. I'm going to try to add this unit and hopefully uh, that'll reduce some of the heating. But anyway, uh, I'm going to fire this up and uh, try to get you a shot of this liquid variac working, which is right here, by the way. I have a big, like, syringe device that's used for sucking up fluid. It has a piston in it. Inside of it are electrodes dipped in water. You can't see because this is all steamed up right now from me running it. But uh, I have it hooked up in series with the transformer. I'm going to fire it up and kind of um, go through its motions so you can see it working the current. The AC unit, it is awesome. I'm glad I built it. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It is a 44 amp flame. Lower this down. Man, this thing sticks. It's kind of a pain. Down about 20 amps there now. That flame barely wants to run at 20 amps. That's the lowest wattage flame I've ever been able to make. That right there looks like my 50 amp at 12 volts. I'm serious. It's how much better this low voltage is working. That looks exactly like my 50 amp flame on 12 volts. And I'm running at 23. Turning on this pump ups the amperage just a little bit. For any of you guys who are wondering whether or not that increases amperage, it does. It knocks the bubbles off the electrodes. I'm at about 25 amps now. We were at 24 or 22. Yeah, wow. That's a 25 amp flame on 7.2 volts. That is just unheard of for me. Down to 26 amp. Well, whatever. And also, this cell is putting off no heat. It's cold to the touch. Lower voltage is not dissipating as much energy into heat. I'll get back to you on this. The low voltage is awesome. Okay, I guess uh, in conclusion, the liquid variac is one of the coolest things I've built in a while. I am so amazed I'm that stupid to wait this long to do this. I've been running off batteries and all that. Batteries are nice. You can crank some serious amps, but AC is just far more convenient. 
and um, I can make a much more compact and lighter unit now. Um, and second, the voltage difference. That 7.2 volts, man, is twice as good as the 12 volts. I was putting off no heat as before um, running that little test run that you've seen. Would have had that cell hot to the touch. But uh, this time I didn't get any of that. And also, I'm wondering if there's kind of a pulse width modulation type thing going on with the fact that the diodes aren't perfect as far as the waveform of AC is concerned. So it does have kind of a voltage or a current fluctuation in it, but I don't know if that really matters at all. Um, I guess that's it. I just wanted to um, stress the fact that you definitely need to quit using 12 volts if you're one of those guys who's really into the numbers and the, the details on the cell. Um, as I said, I've tried 3.3 volts. Don't get too crazy and go that low. It doesn't work. You cannot crank enough amps. Um, 7.2 volts was achieved by putting seven turns in a microwave transformer after ripping out the secondary, which is quite a challenge, by the way. Um, I can give you some tips on that if you ask. As far as right now, I ain't going to wait. Also, the Variac that you saw me operating, um, didn't get hot enough to where I feel I need to hook up a cooling system to it so I'm just gonna leave it as is um, definitely definitely an awesome idea um, like I said it's very hard to zero in the electrolyte um, only one of my electrodes is carbon I think making both of them carbon would have given me a little bit more range a little bit easier to use it's kind of uh, jumps from low amps to high amps pretty quick in a very small area so but it works excellent for the purpose I made it for. Um, it's also, some of you may be asking why I, ain't I using a dimmer switch? Well, the reality is dimmer switches can only handle about 1.6 amps. Um, I don't have video of it, but I just went in the other room and did a test on how much current was running through the liquid variac. And it turns out that it's 60 amps running through the DC side. The AC side is running 5.8 amps, so that is well beyond the limitations of a dimmer switch. And besides, I've burned up several dimmer switches trying this concept. I also used a drill trigger. Drill triggers are pretty good for this, but the low energy, um, when you barely press the trigger, it burns it up. It can't um, pass little amounts of current without frying it. But the higher end, the other two switches do work pretty good. Um, also, I got some more information on the 3.3 volt test that I did. I had to add electrolyte so much to the extent that um, some kind of purple substance started coming off the plates. So the most amps I was able to get out of 3.3 volts, no matter what I did, was about 4 amps. So if some of you guys had questions on what happened with those trials in case you wanted to go that route, um, I don't advise it. Uh, but anyway, I'm just amazed with how much better this 7.2 volts is working. I just can't believe that I've waited this long to test how much better lowering the voltage is. Because they say anything beyond 2.4 volts is wasted as heat energy. And um, you need extra voltage to push current, though. So I don't know where all this is, but I'm going to run a f um, gas production rate test um, with an inverted 2 liter again to see if it beats my 100 amp test video.